Hello, and a warm welcome to Cozy Studio, your go-to destination for awesome templates to make your life a whole lot simpler. Today, we're thrilled to introduce our to-do list templates with Dynamic Calendar, a game changer in task management. In this quick overview, we'll guide you through the seamless setup process, tracking functionalities, dynamic calendar usage, and the powerful dashboard features that make staying organized a breeze. Without further ado, let's jump right in. As we embark on this journey, let's start with the setup page where you have the power to customize various elements. Firstly, choose when your week begins on the dynamic calendar, whether it's the classic Monday or a more relaxed Sunday. The calendar automatically adjusts dates based on your choice. The next four tables are designed to help you choose to decide what appears in the dropdowns for category, status, priority, and assignee in the tracker sheet. For example, if you have education, health, and home in the category table, these options will appear in the drop-down menu of the category column in the tracker table. Let's get to the details. The categories table allows you to create task categories like education, health, homework, etc., complete with icons for easy identification. The priority table lets you fine-tune task priorities, each with visually distinctive icons. The status table helps define task statuses like completed, in progress, pending, etc., with corresponding icons. The assign to table allows you to list individuals, including yourself, to whom tasks will be assigned. If you have your own icon, you can add it by clicking on the cell, selecting insert, then image, then insert image in the cell, and upload from your computer or Google Drive. And now, Let's explore the tracker, the heartbeat of your task tracker experience. This table has two parts, the analysis overview and the tracking table. The analysis overview makes it easy to keep track of unfinished tasks that are due today, this week, or overdue. It also shows you the number of tasks you have, how many you've finished, and how many are still pending. Plus, there's a progress section that tells you the percentage of tasks you've completed, the tracking table is where you input your tasks. It has eight columns for detailed task management, checkbox for completed tasks, task for the task name, due date for setting deadlines, priority, status, category, and assigned to dropdowns for choosing options set up on the set up page. The description is where you can add detailed notes for better task context. Now let's dive into the dashboard, your central hub for analyzing your tasks. This sheet may seem packed with tables, charts, and numbers, but don't worry, I'll break it down for you. First, let's explore the overview section, where you can find essential counts such as total tasks, today's tasks, this week's tasks, overdue tasks, and completed tasks. Just below, three progress bars visually display today's progress, this week's progress, and overall progress, indicating the number of tasks you need to finish to fill the bars. Now onto the tables with filtering options, designed to help you effortlessly sort tasks by priority, status, assigned persons, or category based on your immediate needs. Simply choose the name of the priority, status, assigned persons, or category, and the tasks containing that name will automatically appear. For example, selecting high priority will display all tasks with high priority in the priority filter table. Pretty cool, right? We've also designed time-based filters to help you focus on tasks for today, this week, or this month, streamlining your view for optimal efficiency. It works similarly to the four tables I mentioned earlier. Just choose the time base, like today's tasks, this week's tasks, or this month's tasks, and it will show all the tasks with due dates matching the selected time. For the overdue tasks, we've set up a table, like the emergency exit, but for tasks, Hopefully, it stays as untouched as a library book. Fingers crossed, or better yet, fingers not even needed. Now, let's shift our focus to the task distribution charts. We have two dynamic bar charts providing a visual breakdown of tasks by status and priority, and two pie charts for category and assigned persons. The task by status dynamic bar chart shows the number of tasks in each status, for example, nine tasks completed, two tasks in progress, and four, not, started tasks. The task by priority chart is similar, offering insights into the distribution of tasks by each priority level. 
The pie charts for tasks by each person illustrate the percentage of tasks completed by each person. Like in this example, I have completed 33.3% of all tasks, and Liam Thompson is handling 16.7% of them. The task by categories pie chart is also informative, showing the percentage of tasks in each category. For instance, the completed category makes up 37.5%, 8.3% of tasks in progress, and 16.7% not started. And that's everything you need to know about the dashboard sheet. Now let's move on to the last sheet, which I know you've all been eagerly waiting for, the dynamic calendar. Dynamic calendar is a visual tool for organizing your tasks. Start by selecting the month and year you want using the month and year dropdown. Right beside it, the task filters lets you exclude tasks with specific priorities, statuses, categories, or assigned persons, simplifying your calendar experience. If you pick certain priorities, statuses, categories, or assigned persons, tasks with those features won't appear on the calendar. Now, let's check out the calendar features that let you personalize your view. You can highlight today's date or filter task progress to show all, unfinished, or finished tasks. Opting to highlight today's tasks adds a yellow mark on today's date, acting as a reminder for tasks that need attention. The filtering option helps you focus on unfinished tasks, displaying only those you haven't completed yet. The calendar automatically populates based on your entries in the tracker sheet and your chosen options, accommodating up to six tasks per day. Other task tables in this sheet contribute to your overall understanding, offering details on other tasks, today's tasks, and this month's tasks. Understanding today's tasks and this month's tasks is pretty straightforward. They just show all tasks due on those specific days. Let's chat about the others tasks table. This space is for urgent or non-tracked tasks. Even if they're not in the main tracker, they still pop up in the calendar and count toward your total tasks when you add the task name and due date. Use this table to keep an eye on specific tasks you'd rather not track on the main sheet. And that wraps up our tutorial. If you found the to-do list templates with Dynamic Calendar helpful, hit like, subscribe for more tips, and find the link to get it in the description. Thanks for hanging out with Cozy Studio, keeping it simple and productive. Catch you later.